All right, I'd like to show you uh, this effect. It's uh, Alan Ackerman. It's called uh, the Dunbury Dilution. Uh, have it go ahead and say stop. I stop there. So have you look at the card, memorize it. Give the cards uh, some cuts and a little shuffle. Mix all the cards up. Have you say stop, stop. Now, I'm going to show you a card. If you see your card, don't tell me. Uh, this card's going to tell me uh, something about your card. It's going to tell me the location of your card. So this card is uh, a four. So that tells me your card is exactly uh, four cards down from there. So it's one, two, three, four. So. What I'll do. Four cards down. So that means this would be a card that'd be pretty amazing, wouldn't it? Actually, it is amazing. It's your card. What's more amazing than that is these four random cards change right to the four aces. Just like that. So now I'm going to show you how simple this is. This is uh, one of my go to effects. It's a great effect, and here's what you do. All you have to do is uh, and uh, if I had a spectator here I failed to mention that you have them shuffle the deck because so you have the four aces and you have the four on top so the four aces and the four and you have that under the box so when you come out you take the cards out of the box and the deck have them uh, give it a shuffle so they shuffle it up and then uh, when you put the, the box on top, because the cards are here, is the idea of David Williamson. You put the box here, you say, would you like to shuffle the box? And then when you toss the box away, that gets them on top. So it's a nice way to have the spectator shuffle the deck first. You then uh, do any type of force, you can have them cut the deck and do a crisscross force if you want. You should do a time delay. You have them just recap, they shuffle the cards, blah, blah, blah. So you can do it that way. Or you can do uh, more effectively than that is uh, a riffle force. And this is a way that uh, you have a break on, on it, of course. And this is the way that Alan Ackerman does the riffle force. So when he riffles like this, whenever they stop, he stops exactly right there. When they say stop, so it's legit. Then as he throws, he throws from the break. So it's like a aerial retention. That's the way Alan does it. Um, and you then say, uh, remember your card. You then, as you dribble, you get an in jog here, so you can lift up the break. Then you cut the cards small packets doing uh, double and triple cuts getting it to the top then uh, shuffle the deck keeping it on top except for be careful not to shuffle uh, into those aces of course so now what you do is uh, you hold the deck in the wrong hand the right hand like that unless unless you're goofy handed then you do the opposite when you riffle like this have them say stop you then roll this over so that looks like it's coming from the middle you then say uh, if you see your card don't tell me keep a poker face but this card's going to tell me uh, the location of, of your card so you look at it and uh, you don't say anything but it's their card you then going to do the uh, ultra move and the weakness on the ultra move is it flashes over here. So what Alan does is you kind of pull down uh, with your thumb and get this going a little bit to the right so it's kind of not going to be sticking out as much. So it, won't, so it won't be over here like this. It'll be kind of like that. And then once you get it on top then you can release it. So that's the switch. 
you then uh, set this packet of cards down. Then you uh, just count one, two, three, four, then you stop right there. And as you cross your hands to set these cards down, you're going to do the reverse spread. So it's kind of under cover of your arm. And you do a little time delay on it. Because it looks like this is what you count it to. But actually, it's not. You count it, you count it this way. So because you did the reverse as you crossed your arms, because you did the reverse spread, and you do a little time delay, and then you say, then this will be your card, and you, as soon as you take these rest of these cards and set them down and they have their hand on top, you do a little time delay misdirection, it's important, so, because people won't remember which one's the top card. You then say, this is your card, and they'll be like, no way, and it is. And then you say, that those are not the, those are the four, but they're the four aces. So that's a nice effect. Uh, that's the Dunbury Delusion from Alan Ackman. Have fun with that. Hello. My name is Darren Martineau. How are you doing, everybody? This is what I call the Surreal-Illusion System. Surreal-Illusion System. Surreal and Illusion. Surreal-Illusion System, gold level, okay? is uh, for anyone, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced magician, okay, it's uh, over 77 video tutorials inside, and it's $97. The platinum level is going to be uh, all of the products into one, and then every time a product is created, you will not have to uh, pay. You'll get all the exclusive videos. So join now. See you on the other side.